It's like they're trolling me right now. Oh, this is the trolliest tournament I've ever played in my 15 year career. Holy fuck. <laughs> they are trolling so hard. What's up, Lauren? How did your runs end yesterday? Uh, about as poorly as they could have ended. <laughs> I think this money still needs to go in. Uh, I think basically... I'll, I'm gonna actually pull up pocket fives. And I'll let you know exactly how they went. But yeah, I'm gonna be calling here. Uh, hands that should be jamming here are like king-queens, king-jack suited, queen-jack suited. I think Ace Queen still has to go here. It'd be a lot different if like Hijack ended up jamming here. What a nine and a king. Or just queen. Green would be great. Black's great. There it is. There it is. Let's go. Play bad, run like God. What the fuck is this? <coughs> 3x off of 10 banks. A little less. You can't fold. <coughs> Snap jam. There it is. Threes, well played. <laughs> What are you doing? Just 3xing there. <laughs> Not good. Me, yeah, uh, sure, jam, whatever. That's probably making a little bit of money, but... Why are you 3xing? You allow me to realize equity with a hand like this. The hand that plays like trash. Both swap. Wow, oh, race call fives here? Hold. Hold. Blue or black would be great. All right, let's go. Woo. All right, 400k. Wednesday double stack. Let's go. Bluff it away in one table. I'm pure in the other. And I think we are very high frequency call here uh, for a number of reasons. A, this guy has a ton of chips here. B, we're relatively short. And I just think this hand does a lot of traffic here in general. And C, we've got a lot of reshuffle stacks behind that we can snap off here. There it is. I'm not sure, like, I don't know how many flats in general we have in this spot. I feel like a hand like Ace-10 of Spades has to call here, a hand like King-Queen suited has to call here. So if those hands want to be calling, I feel like Aces wants to be trapping. Maybe like Kings just rips it in here, a hand like Ace-Queen suited rips it in here. So I'm just gonna call this. And is there any reason for us to jam? I really don't think so. We're still gonna float with like an ace, 10 of spades, diamonds, clubs, I think. That might be a bad card if he actually has value. Okay. Just have a hand. <laughs> Guess I was getting there regardless. I think we still play for stacks here. Um, this goes to the money. I actually think we probably still get three bet folds. Put pressure on stacks like this. So I'm gonna do this. I mean, if he jams, we have to call. But yeah, we get to three bet a little bit wider in these spots. Put pressure on the shorter stacks. We're so close to the money. And this hand still wants to play for stacks here, so. Pretty sure we're just pure three betting here. <laughs> Try to tell me to fold, but there's a delay. <laughs> Fuck. I'll make sure to stream live next time. That way everybody else can just see my just see my cards. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Couldn't help it. The number was high. I had to call. Good luck, us. Don't love this spot, obviously, but let's go. Flipping. Fake flips. Win chips. Fake flips. One time. 
One time. Una vez. Una vez. Red or green? Red or green? Blue's not good. Blue's not good. Blue's not good. Blue's not good. Blue is not fucking. Ooh. Nine. Let's go. You see that little round thing right there? See that little round thing? It looks very much like a 10. Holy fuck. Thank God. Let's go. We have now extended the Black Friday sale to all products on bbcpoker.com with some minor exceptions like the BBC seminars where there's already way too much value being delivered at this price. But the vast majority of products on bbcpoker.com are now available on sale. You can check out some of the favorites like the Ape Styles bundle, uh, like the BBC bundle, like the cash game bundles. Everything is going to be available for you guys at 20% off. Head over to bbcpoker.com right now and take full advantage. And you're like, oh yeah, some people buff there. Sure how much this hand ISOs, but I did roll pretty high. We're also pretty close to the money. Don't mind putting on some pressure here. Pretty dry board. I don't think I'm gonna roll here. I think I'm just gonna bet small. And I'm going to do some betting and checking here on a three. I'm going to check and bluff all rivers when check two. And definitely buffing this right. I mean, this kind of sucks too because uh, he's going to have some 10 nines, 10 eights, nine eights. But I'm just going to have those hands too. I'm going to have hands like pocket tens, 10 seven offsuits, 10 six offsuits. Put pressure on like a king seven here. An ace nine of hearts that decided to limp call. Let's go. Everybody bluffs, everybody bluffs. <laughs> you just do, they just can't help themselves. Here I actually think we want to be trapping. Guess you mostly want to be check raising here. A 22 though. Guess I call. Basically, like I don't mind check calling here and then just getting it in on clean turns. And on a 62. I think we want to go too big here. Uh, he definitely doesn't have ace jack here. I wouldn't imagine he does. He shouldn't have too many flushes, but he can definitely have hands like ace 10, 10 9, queen 10, probably not. Either way, we're just going to do this. Because we have a lot of 10x ourselves. We have trap flushes. We have jack 9s, queen 10s, 10 8s. Queen 10 move. Uh, here, I think we get to mix jam and call. Call this time. I think King Queen Suited wants to like pure rip here. Ooh, call this. It's a lot of straight outs. Ship it. And versus small, I'm gonna get some raise, especially with the hand that's good. But I think we're mainly calling, especially the shallow. The sand also doesn't need a ton of protection. And on the turn without a diamond, I think I'm just going to pure jam here. I guess we like tank. Fade it. It's a good card. Let's go. Let's go. And here, I think we probably have to go broke. With pocket nines for 30. Three 
your bet stats are super low, or super small too. I was gonna say maybe I'll call like half the time, jam half the time on a 90. I'm just gonna rip here. I mean, it's a small amount of hands too. We can still be going up against ace queens, ace kings. Hold for all the chips, all the chips, nine of clubs. Come on, one time, one time. This is a massive fucking pot. That's a big one. Pocket nines. Ah! Holy fuck. Second chip. Let's go. I see. Thanks for your accurate answer. Yeah, all good, pal. Happy to answer anything I can. How much time do you register these days? As in, how often am I playing? How much am I invested for? I guess elaborate a little more if you could please. Oh my god. Uh, there's no fold here. I was going to say we were going to 4-bet this guy. But uh, I even think if he has aces, he's not just ripping here for 42. I think he can make it like 12 and a half, 13. So this is never aces. I guess I'm just worried about this being aces, which is likely not when he's chip leader. Uh, we are going to take a little bit of time just in case. So I'm not really worried about this guy, uh, and this guy can only have aces, I suppose, but aces should not be jamming there. Does he have? Oh my god. Ace five, you fucking cold four bet jam there. Come on. Blue! Blue! Fuck you! Jesus, that is so wild. Really? Don't know if that makes it in there, buddy. I just don't know. <laughs> like, ranges are so tight, too. Like, yeah, whatever. I'm opening wide. He's three betting wide. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'll give you some credit for finding a bluff in that spot. But it's like, do you really need a bluffing range in that spot? Like, if you are going to have a bluffing range, I think I would rather, like, four bet not all in and fold. And then just rip everything else. It's, like, kind of good to just go with. Like, if you want to rip, like, pocket jacks, pocket queens, ace queen suited. Shit like that, go for it. Wow, what the fuck? <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> Let's go. What's our chip lead? This guy's second in chips. We must have a massive chip lead right now. We've got 6.8. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. And I'm going to overbet or check. Check this time. Basically, we do a lot of check on this card, and if we do bet, we want to be over betting because we're basically saying we have better than an ace. This is for fucking real. And now on the double ace run out, I think we just have to block. I guess we could check to potentially check call. Like, he's gonna call here with, like, king highs, and you might force him to bluff, like, a pocket sevens, pocket sixes. This is so stupid. Um, I mean, in theory, I don't think we can ever fold here. The thing that sucks is this guy has, like, 20k in caches, so this is very rarely a bluff. He also doesn't have full weight ace-x here, because he would be betting some ace-x on the turn, but... I mean, for the price, and as good as our hand is, we just can't fold. You know, it's, it's, what the fuck? Ugh. Oh, well, it could be worse, I suppose. <laughs> what is that run out? We got three bet not all in here. Well, this makes things kind of weird. Because now I'm not like three bet bluffing here. Do I just call? No. Maybe we just have to rip. Yeah, this makes the dynamic a little bit weird because we're not like bluffing the spot anymore when he has money in. Black cards? Uh. Jack? Not a jack. <laughs> it's 
Never easy, guys. It's never fucking easy. Roll tie here. We're gonna open. We opening a little bit tighter. Since he does have us covered here. And the deeper it gets, the less we want to be opening like super wide in these spots. Uh, for this price, I honestly don't think we get fold. I mean, maybe we get to mix a little bit more fold because we are a little bit deeper here, but I just don't think we get fold blind of blind here. So we're going to call, but also be trapping with some big pairs. Let's get those fucking pocket kings money back. If he bets, I actually think we might be pretty close to pure call as well. Because with the pot that's bloated, I don't think we really need to be fast playing here too much. We want to either allow him to value bet worse or bluff. So I actually think in this spot, if we do face a small bet, we should be um, soul playing quite a bit. And once he checks, I think on the turn, we probably want to be putting in money quite often here. Uh, there's a lot of cards that could really change the value of this hand. Question is size. So that'd be 42. Oh, this is kind of weird. That would have been weird. Or be bluffing a little bit more, thinking I might be a little bit too aggro there. I think I'm gonna donate here. Although I've heard that movie's insanely boring too, so. Uh, if this guy jams, we have to call. Let's go. Just. One just in here. If you like movies, there are a ton of different movie references. Oh, well, that's me. That's why I live by. <laughs> I got a double barrel. Salad fingers. <laughs> Good luck, Kurt. Nice flop. Well, it was a nice flop with the 7-8. Uh, looked like a nice flop. But it wasn't, because he had a king. Don't have the 9-6 of... Well, you can't have 9-6 clubs. Not even sure if he calls 9-6 offs over here pre. It can definitely be some ace-9 here. Outside of that, we lose to nothing. I mean, I guess the like 9-8. We lose two. Not that it matters. We have a full house. Blood versus big blind. Money goes in. He can still have flushes here big time. He might even hero here with like a 10-8 with the 10 of spades. He can have ace sex with a spade. Alright. We like not getting snapped. Now we just want to call. Let's go. Wow. So sick for him too because he blocks full houses here and he has a flush. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Woo! Poker, poker, it's all skill. <laughs> well, well, well. It's just so hard for us to be bluffing here. I just honestly have no idea how much we're supposed to be betting here. Like, our quote-unquote bluffs are probably going to be, like, two pair hands that basically have outs versus flushes that continue to call. Will we turn a hand, like, ace-ten of diamonds into a bluff? 
I honestly don't know. If I don't know what my bluffs are, I don't want to be betting very much when I have value. You know what I mean? Because if I'm playing against, like, aware opponents, they're going to kind of notice that it's really hard to have bluffs. And may maybe we have bluffs in this spot. Maybe we're just supposed to be checking a shit ton, but... And roll pretty high here, so I'm just going to bet. And if we get jammed, I think we just have a pretty easy fold. Because I think it is super hard to be bluffing in this spot. So yeah, basically, whenever I have a spot where I have no idea what the bluffs are, I'm usually not betting if I have value. You know what I mean? Because if you can't va uh, balance out your value with your bluffs, then, you know, it's you, if you're playing against somewhat capable opponents, they might notice that as well. And just make some really crazy hero folds. Nice. So pure. So yeah, that's a really interesting spot. If he limps, will ISO. I expect a lot of limping here. Clear ISO here. They expect to get some limp three bets here as well, of course, especially if he's limping the majority of his range, which I would imagine he is. But we do have a hand that can continue. And yeah, I think this hand just wants to call. Could be some merit in four bet jamming here, but this hand just plays so well. I'm just going to call and play my position. All right, so we ran into a very similar spot to this yesterday. We were final two, uh, final two tables. Basically, the final table bubble, where I rolled uh, between a call and a jam when we had a flush on a three-bet pot like this, facing a bet, which I expect to face quite a bit here. And I think we're just supposed to be jamming a lot with our flush draws. Even if he has a hand like Ace-10 of diamonds here, we're going to get it in pretty good. <sighs> really, you have it. Jacks, please. Aces. Spade. Nine. Spade. Spade. Black card. Black card. Black card. Nine. 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 It's so sick. Like, I've just been running into this shit lately, guys. Like, literally two days in a row, final two tables. Dealing with some bullshit. Like, you only have aces in that spot. <laughs> Just so stupid. And that's the flop we get. We have to call here, too. Oh my god, it's just... It's so stupid. It's so stupid. How do we run into that fucking spot blind on blind? That deep. Oh, it's never easy, guys. But uh, money's going in here. Come on. Eight. Can't believe this is happening again. Literally two days in a row, go from second to chips to fucking basically out to FT bubble. And then just fucking 1 of 10 to 10 of 10, two hands. So stupid. So stupid. <laughs> Ugh. The FD bows for three days in a row. Again, guys, I mean, we're, we're having sweats. You know, that's good. Um, we're making deep runs. I'm pretty happy to see that. Literally, that exact spot I just studied, because almost a. Almost the identical spot came up yesterday um, when we were at final two tables. So I'm happy that I looked up that spot and know that I'm pretty sure uh, our hand is pretty close to pure raise or pure jam. But uh, yeah, it's just like, you know, guys limp three betting in the small blind. You know, what else does he have? Aces? Certainly not a bluff. Of course not. It's like, how does that happen? Like, just give me like 7-4 offsuit like I'm going to be like isoing there. Or don't flop me a flush shot, <laughs> Jess. Oh, come on, nine. 
Come on, nine. I'll take a seven or a king or an ace or jack or queen. All right, chop it up. Still alive. Oh, for a pay jump? No ace. No ace. Ooh. We get to see Elky dance. <laughs> All right, we came back from a blind and a half in the Phenomena. Why can't we do it in the fucking Wednesday double stack? Dance, Elky, you sexy motherfucker. Put a smile on my face. 